How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics and I am John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Hey guys, it has been a beautiful few days here in Michigan. It's been like 80 degrees, beautiful, not a cloud in the sky, sunny. I've gotten some pumpkin in, I've got some cantaloupe in, I've got uh, lots of onion sets in, i got some corn planted. Man, i got lots of stuff going on, and uh, outside that is, because it's just been absolutely beautiful, and I'm getting an early jump on this. i got a few days of 50 degree temperatures coming up here soon, so if these plants can make it beyond that, I'm going to be gold, because the future forecast looks, uh, looks pretty good. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update on these strawberries here, man, and they're, they're doing real well. They're blowing up here, and uh, this is exactly 31 days since transplant. If you missed my first video, I'll put a link below. Please check it out. Also, I've got a playlist going on this to kind of monitor this, this grow here. And um, I, I couldn't be more pleased with, with how this is going 30 days into it. Uh, the, the nice, nice green growth. I'll do some close-ups on this and whatnot, but the leaves are just, uh, they're beautiful green. Um, they're starting to get some size to them. Got some berries kicking on. And uh, I even, <laughs> believe it or not, have a couple of red ones going, like just little, little tiny dudes, right? Just some, I don't know. They might be some genetic mutants or something like that. I can't believe I have a couple of red berries 30 days in from transplant. But, again, these are those Quinault strawberries. And um, what did I do for the first 30 days, guys? I did absolutely nothing. I filled this baby up with Dynagrow Grow um, and adjusted it. Watch my first video again, and it'll, it'll detail that. Uh, yesterday was day 30, and that's where I actually came in, and I flushed the nutrient out. And I put, uh, I, I flipped it over to Bloom, which is Dynagrow Bloom, okay guys? And that's 312.6, so it's had a good 30 days of nitrogen, um, and really strawberries don't need a whole lot of nitrogen. I just did it to boost it up, get it going, and now I'm going to flip over onto the Bloom because I want some uh, flowers coming on, and I also want uh, some, some good root, uh, root growth going on here too. So. That's why I flipped already, um, but I didn't go full strength on it because I don't want to shock the plant. I'm going to gradually kind of bring bring the, um, the nutrients up over time. So I'm going to let this run for about 30 days, and then I'm going to flush it out at day 60 from transplant, and then up the bloom some more. So what do I got going on right now? I've got a sample of the water right here, and I've got my uh, PPM meter in here, and the PPM is running at 650. I also have my pH meter in here, and the pH is at around 6.5. Now, when I originally set the nutrient in here uh, at transplant 30 days ago, the, the nutrient was 5.8. Yesterday, when I tested it, it was about 6.4. So as, as these plants consume that, that nutrient, the pH naturally came up. So I didn't want to shock it back down to 5.8 again. So it's, it's, I've got it within two points of uh, what it was at, and I'm going to gradually kind of bring the, um, the pH down as well. So the only thing I'm really going to be monitoring on these plants for the next 30 days is pH, and that's it. I'm going to let them consume out these nutrients. In 30 days, I'm going to do another uh, uh, flush and refill type of thing, and basically that is it, guys. These things are set it and forget it. They're growing under two shop lights. That is it. And literally, the shop lights are a good two feet above, above the canopy here. I don't have them sitting directly on them. And the reason is because is I have a ceiling fan going right here, and it's just providing that wind uh, that's just kind of given these, these it's, just, it's just a perfect little tiny breeze on, on these guys. And they're digging it, right? They're loving it. So I don't want the, the shop lights um, hindering that, that air movement going on. It's been perfect. Plus, on this side of the table, which you can't see, I've got a lettuce grow going, and that's going to be my next video. So stay tuned about that because people constantly ask me, how much does it cost to grow? Well, I'm going to detail it down to the penny. I'm about a week to two weeks out from shooting that video. I want to shoot it when my lettuce is all done here. But stay, stay tuned, man, because I'm going to detail it down to the penny nutrient energy consumption the cost of the seed everything and so it, it'll give you a ballpark if you're interested in growing indoors i get a lot of those questions man so stay tuned that's going to be kind of a cool video so what i'm going to do now is just give you a close-up on the plants and uh I, there isn't much to do here guys this is set it and forget it walk away put everything on a timer and walk away that's it's as simple as that so i'll get behind the camera do a little close-up and we'll call it good all right thanks guys 
check that out guys got some good flowers going on right there got a nice little berry coming on right in here okay so hey man for 30 days into this this has been absolutely fantastic um, this is actually my rump plant and it, this one isn't doing so hot for some reason it doesn't look all that bad but in comparison to the others this one this one has not been fantastic now this one on the other hand look at the size I mean look at that that's just 30 days in that leaf is as big as my hand that's it's crazy I mean that's just fantastic I, I I'm telling you <sighs> I'm of the opinion that you should only grow lettuce hydroponically because it's so easy. And I'm going to tell you something right now based on this. This is like the second, just after lettuce, this is the second thing that is just like almost a must grow for hydroponics. Because it is so stupid, ridiculously easy. Now look at this, man. Look at this. I already got a little, little berry kicking right there, man. It's just it's just a little dude, right? It's just a little runt, but who cares? I got another little deformed little guy going on in here too, right? But I mean, these leaves are just starting to really kick in, and uh, the the growth has been, just been fantastic. So I am uh, I'm really digging this grow, guys. So um, I can't wait to see where these are going to be at at day 60 from transplant. So believe me, guys, stay tuned because um, I'm seeing good things with this grow. Alright, so that's it guys. Nothing too groundbreaking here. Nothing real funny and goofy going on. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, quick update on these babies right here. Uh, things are just moving along nicely. So uh, come back for day 60 from transplant and we'll see where these guys are at. Uh, I should have quite a few more berries uh, kicking in between then and now. So thanks for watching guys. Hey, check me, uh, check me out. Like me. Subscribe to me. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, and catch you later. Peace. Boom. Hey guys doing? Today is May 9th, 2014, and you're watching Indoor Hydroponics, and I hi I'm John, your Indoor Hydro your Indo your Indo I am John Yuri. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Good.